Hello guys, I welcome you to my channel Lexer Graphics and Multimedia. My name is Rafi Yako and this channel content has to do with Corel Draw, Adobe Illustrator and Photoshop. If you visit my channel, all you have to do is to make sure you click on videos. And when you click on video, you'll be able to see my present and past tutorial in Corel Draw, Photoshop and Adobe Illustrator. So all you have to do is to scroll down and see my tutorial. All this tutorial has been made for basic to advance in Corel Draw, Adobe Photoshop, and Adobe Illustrator. All you have to do is to watch the video, learn one or two things, and if you have any question as far as my tutorial is concerned, put your question in the comment section down below. And also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel when you please. So let's get the tutorial started. Welcome back, guys. I welcome you to my other X7 tutorial for beginner. Team. If you have not watched my previous tutorial, can you check it on my channel? I have all the video on my channel, and the channel name still remains the Excel Graphics and Multimedia. Then, when you visit the channel, remember to subscribe. So, let's get to the tutorial started. In today's tutorial, I'm going to teach you the power of Smart Fit Tools in Corel Excel. So, Smart Fit Tools can be applied to text, it can be applied to custom shape, and it as well can be applied to shape, right? So let's say, for instance, we want to make use of uh, circle. We go to our toolbar now. We go to select our circle here. So we need a perfect circle. Then we can press P to centralize the circle. All right. So we want to divide this circle into four. How are we going to do it in a very simple way? All right. So the next thing you need to do is to crop your ruler, both vertical and horizontal. Thing. Right, so one other thing you can do is that you need to go back to your two spy again and select your pen tools. Then you make a perfect stroke from the center down to the here. So you need to make sure that everything falling outside, then you can make another perfect stroke here. Then you can press P to centralize everything. So, so you can delete. Now everything is in center. So we need to break this into, into four equal parts, right? So the best way we can do it is that we can come down below here and look for okay. This is our smart field tools. As far as the X7 tutorial is concerned, we can select our smart field. So when you select your smart field, you see there's going to be a smart free property you can as well change it if you like you can as well leave it in that way then later you change it when you make use of your smart view okay so let's quickly go and drop it down here 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 now we'll go back to our big tools then we'll press shift key on our keyboard click on this shape one after the other then we can drag it out so we can fill the, each of the shape Different color now. So this is the power of smart fit. It's very easy to break down the shape, whether custom shape or basic shape. It's very easy to break it down. So we can take this out if you like. You can come design. That's it. So, we can delete everything. So, we can delete everything now. Okay, as in for this time, we want to make a custom shape style. So, we can go to our pencils now. We select our pencils. Then, we can make it hard. Okay. For instance, we need to fill this down below shape here with another color and apply another color to the top here. So, the first thing we need to do, we can make a page border or we can first make our custom shape. 
as far as spent two weeks on that in Corinth X7. So the next thing I'm going to do here is to go to my tools bar and double click the rectangle to make a page for them. You just have to make sure that you need to block every area that might affect the smart fit tool to work in a perfect way. Right? So I will select my smart fit tools now and I'll click this place. So, I'll go back to my pick tools now. So, now, so let's select everything. I'll right click on this icon here to remove stroke. Now we can change the color. We can change this one to red. We can change this one to black. There's another way you can use your smart fit tools. So, it's called X7. So, let's quickly delete this and look at another way you can make use of your smart fit tools. So like I said earlier, I said you can make use of your smart features for text. So in this case, now I'm going to type capital letter B. Okay. Then I'll press Ctrl A to highlight. Then I'll increase the size. So I can make use of my shift key and drag. I need it to be more bold. Then I can press B to centralize. Okay. So what I'm going to do here is that I'm going to on fill the shape. So to do it, all I have to do is to click on this particular icon here. When you click on it, the shape, the fill of the text is going to disappear once I'm born. Then I will right click on it to bring out the outline of the shape. Then one other thing I'm going to do, I will right click on it on the shape here. So I will right click on the shape, then I will select lock objects. So when I lock objects, this is simply means that by the time I'm making use of my pen tools, I'm not going to have movement of the text around in my stock. So I'll go to my pen tools now. I'll select my pen tools. Then you can start from any point to make your part. You need to make sure that it's close to, to the extreme line. Okay, so one other thing I'm going to do now is to select my smart features from this point here. Area to search. So this is simply means that there is a, a leakage in some area. What I'm going to do is to click on the shape, on the trace shape, shift key, and I will drag it out just to make sure that everything should fall outside the, the shape before I apply my fill. Now the meaning. So I can select my smart fill now. So, so I can select my thing to here and the shape tools and I will drag this out. I will drag this out also. Um, just select everything, then I will delete the stroke. Oh, sorry, I'll take the stroke from the 
this point here. Then I can change the color. I'll leave this one with red. You can just play around with the color of your choice. This is depends on what exactly you are trying to achieve in your design, right? So we can select everything now and click on group. Then take it out. Now you can come back here and right click on this and select unlock object. Here we can click. Select this bar and press P to select. So, this is where we're going to stop in correct X7 tutorial for beginner at 15. If you enjoyed this video, click the like button and also remember to subscribe to the channel for more interesting videos in current drop and Photoshop and Drop Illustrator. Thank you for watching from the beginning to the end. See you soon.